Hello, investors. I'm Stuart Cruz, and welcome to Unemployment Thursday at Cruz Asset Management. I wasn't actually going to do an Unemployment Thursday because these numbers have been pretty steady recently, but we we're expecting 825,000 new unemployment claims, which again, to put things into perspective, is about 50%, 30% higher than the worst week of during the financial crisis, which is around 650,000. But we got Instead of 825,000, we got almost 900,000. So if I add the four week moving average onto this, which ends up being 860,000, we're now above the four week moving average. That means we're moving in the wrong direction. Um, and again, to keep things in perspective, continuing claims, we're looking at 10 million continuing claims. Uh, and if we go back to 2007, I always like to give some perspective here. Our continuing claims peaked out right around 6.5 so you're still looking at considerably 80 percent higher than the worst peak of the financial crisis so clearly we're coming off of these numbers and their numbers are coming down and improving but leveling out at around 900,000, just under a million initial claims is terrible it's absolutely awful these are repeatedly week after week after week far worse than the worst week that we had during the financial crisis. So these are really troubling numbers that they're sustained for quite some time. Now, the only uh, kind of uh, positive lining that we see, I'm going to look at some manufacturing numbers. So <clears throat> the Philly Fed Manufacturing Activity Index and the Empire State Index kind of measures the manufacturing activity year over year change of what we're seeing. And I'm going to look at the Let's not confuse this. The purple line is the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index. Long-term average is 13%. We're at 32. We're making up for this big drawdown that we had during the lockdown. But still, we're at reasonably lofty levels relative to five-year um, comparison. So that's encouraging that the, that the manufacturing industry is picking up. So that hopefully will generate new jobs. And if we had the Empire State in there, that story basically is a very similar story big sell-off during the lockdown, but again, above our average and positive. So that would suggest that new jobs are coming, or at least with some retooling, that we can put a damp uh, dent into some of this unemployment. Now, the problem is during the unemployment uh, problem, we don't have uh, enough stimulus coming in to continue some of these jobs to uh, be replaced. So <clears throat> like the, 80, the airline industry is still operating at about 80% capacity right now. The service industry is still going to be way down. A lot of states are still considering lockdown, making sure that the restaurants aren't at between 25 and 50% capacity. When you see uh, the colder weather coming in, there's probably gonna be an uptick in coronavirus cases as we've seen basically around the world. So that's um, probably something to consider. But for now, um, unemployment is still not good, getting better, but not good. But the least manufacturing activity is uh, picking up. So uh, I feel like we're gonna, we're working our way through these problems. It's gonna take a lot longer than we think. There's gonna be some rocky road ahead. Given the current PEs of the market, you're gonna anticipate very low five-year average returns. But still, you might get some very hot years, but some very bad years. So be vigilant, be prudent, and don't forget, always invest with the odds in your favor.